is an invitation to our Remind app. And if you're not familiar with Remind, Remind is a, an electronic communication device originally uh, created specifically for education for schools, for teachers to be able to uh, communicate with parents and students in a secure, non-public way. So some of you may have already signed up for it at the very beginning of the year. I kind of went through and purged that list a little bit um, so it only contains the people going on the trip. So if you have your uh, Remind app on, and you go to your Google Store this, uh, or the, the Apple Store and look for Remind, it's a free app. Um, I'm not sure how well that may work here <laughs> in the gym um, with with our the Wi-Fi. Um, if you don't, you do at home. If you text eight one zero one zero, I believe that is to at twenty two twenty three LVSW, just like that. You can take a picture of it or something. You'll get that. Yes. A quick question. I have a remind for the. Uh Team, is it the same or do I have it's the same app, but it's a different group. So yeah, so like for me, I have a remind for obviously the band here, but I have one for my daughter's softball team okay. and like three or four other groups. So the golf team and all, all that kind of stuff. So uh, you need to sign up specifically for this group. So if you text that number to that at. Uh, you will get the, um, get a uh, onto the group. I will send out a little reminder um, tomorrow to make sure. <laughs> it's like a little. <laughs> uh, and we'll go from there. If you have problems with that, let me know, and uh, we'll get it. What we use this app for for our trip it, it, a couple ways. One, to kind of let you know, hey, we're off, hey, we just made a pit stop, just a little things that we arrived in St. Louis, hey, we're up at the arch, just little bits and pieces for you kind of to follow along from home. But one of the main reasons we started using it was during our trip, so we can get a hold of the kids. Hey, time to get up. We need to be downstairs in 10 minutes, or we need to, it's time to meet at the fountain in 15 minutes because we're leaving, or hey, we're meeting at the auditorium because it's time for the awards, that kind of thing. So it goes straight to them. So that's what that's for. And um, there's some settings in there for you. So if you're getting too much or too little, um, you can adjust that as you're comfortable with. All right. Mr. Today, yes. Yeah. All right. Um, I used to do this on a regular basis. However, uh, we have this is our first opportunity to travel since 2018, 2019. Yeah, at Atlanta, which was a fantastic trip. And um, so, <clears throat> given the circumstances at the beginning of the year, salute, as my grandfather would say, uh, <laughs> um, we were unable to promote the trip until. Uh, things moved forward from the referendum and unfortunately that had caused some people to already make plans and and so forth but we're very pleased that we have a group of students who are going to experience this for the first time uh, with us and um, hopefully um, next year and we are planning something for next year a little bit um, a little bit bigger I think um, and we're excited about that we'll see how that goes uh, but this is kind of our our test run Thing. St. Louis is a great trip and we've done this many times and so we're excited to have this group of students um, uh, along with us. So I'm going to try to go through some things as quickly as I can tonight and I know everyone's got some uh, their busy schedules and if you need to leave I understand. I am recording this and I will uh, create a YouTube uh, uh, link for it so that if you miss something or if there's questions at the end and you had to leave, you can just go back and relive all the excitement of this meeting this evening. So um, uh, we'll do our best to give you as much information as we can in a brief amount of time. And for some of you, I know that this might be the first opportunity your child has had to travel either without you, uh, so you're a little nervous about, are they gonna remember to put their underwear on? or something like that, you know, or, or did they pack the deodorant, you know, things like that. So it is a great opportunity to begin to experience some independence and 
life lessons and life, life things happen on trips. And so um, we've seen it all, trust me. And, yes, when we say put your phones away, phones away. Otherwise it could end up in the river along the, along the hotel and some fisherman finds it and hands it back to you. <laughs> so um, so we're, we're glad that uh, this group has come together and Mr. Olson and I have um, thought very carefully about the performance aspect of this. We understand that it is not the full group and that we do not have all of the elements that we have in the current group that is going to perform tomorrow evening, which I'm very excited about. Um, but we feel we have selected some great material, some fun songs that the kids that enjoy playing, as well as some uh, songs for the festival. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a, just a bit. Um, one of the things that I like to remind the students especially is that um, this is not necessarily a vacation. Uh, if I want to go to St. Louis uh, in, in vacation, I probably won't take all of you with me. However, um, we are going with a purpose, and that purpose is to share our work and our music with others and to perform, and that's our main goal. And along the way, we're going to have some fun, we're going to see some sights, and we're going to be with our friends, and we're going to do all the things that go along with having the privilege, privilege of being able to do this. It's a bit different than going to Washington, D.C., where you can get up and you go see the Smithsonian, blah, 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 blah. It is not a sightseeing tour uh, exclusively. Um, we're there for a purpose. So when it comes time to do those things, uh, we're going to ask the students to be engaged and involved in helping to um, move things and, and be responsible young adults as we know they can be. So um, we are going to go through um, your packet here in just a moment, and inside of that, there are two sides to this packet, which I um, uh, briefly uh, talked a bit about before the meeting started. The left-hand side are the important documents that we need to make sure that your child is safe and that everyone is aware of the uh, expectations and, and things like that. That all needs to be returned to me by, the, by Friday the 21st. So medical information and so forth, and if you don't have that all this evening, that's fine. I'm just providing that to you so that if you want to get started on that, but the sooner the better, because I'm going to pass that along to Mrs. Wiseman, this is Christina Coyle Wiseman, she's not here this evening, but she will be our um, trip nurse, and she will be putting together her daily routine for our students. So if your child comes to school and takes medication here at school, we're going to follow the same routine and we're going to make sure that they get the meds at the times they, they need them throughout the day. Regardless of where we're at and, and what is happening, uh, she will make, make sure that everything is on schedule and taking care of our, our students as if they were here at school or at home with you. So those are very important so she can begin to do that and then if she has any questions, she can reach out to you. I will send out her direct email so that if you have questions or concerns regarding your child's health or medications or, um, and, and I think I'm also going to include some dietary things in case you have concerns about where we're eating or what they're eating. Um, if your child has allergies or things like that, uh, you can post those questions to her and then we will contact uh, Bob Rogers Travel and they can get those answers for us. Okay? Um, let's, um, Let's go through the itinerary, uh, first of all, on the right side of the folder. And I'm going to send out probably a week before the uh, departure date, I will send out a um, departure information, specifically for May the 5th, Friday, May the 5th. Um, the information that you, you will need if you are not going to be down in the St. Louis area, uh, is the emergency contact info. And that is here on, on the front page. So if for some reason you need to get a hold of me or Mr. Olson or, um, or your child, then use that contact and they will contact us. There will be a representative from Bob Rogers Travel with us at all times and they will be handling our tour. So wherever we go and whatever we are doing, they will be there to uh, make sure things run smoothly. So we have to do our part, of course, and make sure we're prepared, but they will be traveling with us. We're going to meet our representative in St. Louis. We're going to depart from here, 
and we will meet our representative in St. Louis, and then he, he will be with us um, for the remainder of the trip. We are gonna leave early Friday morning on May the 5th. Um, it says 5.30 there, but I am probably gonna push that to five o'clock because I don't know um, how all the packing is going to go. So we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of extra time. So arrival time here will be about five o'clock so that we can begin to load the bus. We have one bus, it's a 56 passenger bus. There's extra room on the inside, not for your extra stuff, just so you know, but we're gonna need some of that room for the small bass drum that we're gonna have to take with us, maybe an amplifier, a couple of extra instruments. Not everything's going to fit under the bus, so uh, we're gonna need some of that extra room inside, but there will be plenty of room for everyone. We're gonna plan on uh, leaving at around um, six o'clock or so, somewhere in that range, once everything's packed and ready to go. The students are going to be asked to participate in all of those packing and unpacking activities. So, um, I've always said, their response to me or Mr. Olson or any of the chaperones is, what can I do to help? So if we're all standing around and there's luggage and instruments and so forth, the, the question is, what can I do to help? All right, and we're gonna practice that. And so that, and I, then I can say, see all that stuff, that all needs to go over there. And, the, and then we will proceed to do that. So we can move quickly and efficiently and, and get on our way, okay? So that's, that's their job as well. Everyone participates in all of the moving and loading and everything that is, goes along with travel. Your mom isn't here to carry your suitcase or your garment bag, so you're going to have to do that yourself. So that goes, that goes too with all of our other things. We're going to travel down to St. Louis. We're going to meet our uh, representative at the Arch. There will be a box lunch for the students. They're going to get an order form for that, and they're going to pick out their uh, lunch through an order form that I will send to them. I actually received that today. Um, it doesn't need to be uh, returned to them till next week. And right now, today and tomorrow, a little bit busy days for me and Mr. Olson, so they'll receive that. So they're gonna actually receive two requests, one for their box lunch at the Arch, and then one for a meal at um, Ballpark Village, I believe it is, uh, where they will have a, a lunch selection as well. And um, we will take care of that uh, next week. We're gonna, uh, Friday is primarily a, a sightseeing day. We're gonna visit the uh, Blues Museum, we are going to then uh, load uh, for the hotel. We're going to have a pizza dinner at the hotel. Um, we're going to uh, go to Union Station, which is a great place for a uh, little shopping and sightseeing there. And then we return back to our hotel and get ready for the next day. On Saturday, um, that is primarily our performance morning day and then our day at the park. I looked at, I, I received information from the festival, from the Music in the Parks Festival. There are several middle school groups that will be participating in the festival. And we're going in as a competitive group, and we're gonna do the best we can. Um, and we are, there will be groups there from Missouri, from Tennessee, from Illinois, um, from Wisconsin, I believe, so all from around the Midwest. So it's a great showing, and there's uh, several groups that will be, will be participating, and I'll call it competing against. I am not too concerned with that. I want us to have a great performance, and I want the kids to be proud of their work. Um, our jazz band and, and uh, symphonic wings will perform in the mid-morning, and then from there we will proceed to Six Flags for the remainder of the day. Um, that is the first, um, that's the first student meal that they will need, because we will not be together as a group. So they will have a lunch at the park, at their cost, and then later that evening, they, they will get a meal voucher for food for later in the day. So um, that's, that's one meal. So if you're keeping track of, how much am I gonna need to send with my child? Well, that's really gonna be up to you. So uh, the, as far as meals go, um, there's gonna be two meals that they're responsible for. That's it. And then everything else is included in. There's no breakfast on Friday morning. However, they can bring snacks and things on the bus. So they should, they should bring something to have to eat mid-morning. I'm sure they're gonna get on the bus and fall right to sleep on the way down there. So they will, yeah, right. 
Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, we'll return back to the hotel and get ready for um, our day on Sunday. Sunday, we're going to get up, we're going to eat breakfast, and we're going to head to our ballpark village where we will do a performance at 1030, approximately 1030. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I've not done this part of the tour before, this is new to me, but I'm assuming there's an open area where the public is um, uh, just out, out in the open where the public can view us and we, we've got a, a bunch of songs prepared that we're gonna perform uh, for, that, um, for that time frame, both the uh, symphonic winds and the jazz ensemble will perform. And then we will have a group lunch and that will be uh, the other pre-ordered lunch and then we're going to load and uh, start to head home. And uh, we should arrive here somewhere later on in the evening. I'm sure your children, we will, we will um, let your students know to let you know when we are close. We'll also send out um, a reminder from the Remind app. Um, let me, uh, if you have any questions and want to ask them at the end, you can do that. If, if I don't get to you tonight and you want to ask me questions, please send me an email. Um, the, let me just briefly go back to the left side and the, the information regarding medication and medical information. I know that you may have filled something out here at school and they may have that on file. This is specifically for us. We will be reading this, so if there's any updates to that, we're going to have your most updated information and the, and the contact information for you, uh, for your child. The pink form, the acknowledgement and consent form, is from the district. So we need everybody to sign that so that you understand the agreement that um, the district has with our group travel uh, as part of a school-sponsored event. The last one, the white sheet, it says student parent discipline agreement. Now, I don't anticipate there being a problem, but never have I anticipated there being a problem. But we're just going to say that if you wouldn't do it here at school or at home, then it's probably not acceptable to do on the trip. And the last thing we would want is to have to send somebody home for doing something that was inappropriate, um, that does not represent our school or our community in the way we want to. And so that, that is not a threat, it's just letting you know that we need everybody to be thinkers when you're out and about and I'm not standing next to you and you're in the amusement park or at the museum and things like that. So all of those things that you would expect to be expected by your parents, um, we expect to. And I would love to tell you that we haven't had any problems in the past, but many, many years ago, we. We had an incident and there was inappropriate behavior and we had to take action like that. And I don't anticipate that with this group at all. However, um, I'm just letting everybody know that that's what is expected of all of our, our students. So that when we go out, walk away from somewhere, someone says, where are you from? And we say, Down Earth Grove, Lakeview Junior High School. That the, the last thing they say is, what a great group of kids. And that's what we want to hear. Okay. I'm gonna move on to the other parts of the um, packet here on the right side, our rules for travel. I'm gonna kind of summarize, because I know all of you can read, and I, I would expect that you go through that with your students. If you haven't recently seen the, um, the discipline uh, guidelines that are on the school website, and you want to go through all of them, you may do so, but I think my statement before is, uh, pretty clear as to what the expectations are. So all rules that apply here at school apply when we're on the bus, when we're in any venue, or out and about as a group or as individuals representing our school. Prescription medication. If you have a prescription that needs to be distributed to your child, the morning that we arrive here, Christina Wiseman will be here to accept that and make sure that it's labeled and it's in its original container. Please don't send us prescribed pre prescription medication in a, in a neutral bottle or a baggie or something like that. Please make sure it has the dosage and all of the things you get from the pharmacy so that she knows exactly what your child is getting and she can make sure it gets to the right place. You can put it in a baggie, but it has to be in its original container with the information regarding the medication that we're, we're distributing to your child. So 
that morning, you can drop it off to her. She will be here in the gym. When you drop off your child, come in and see her and hand it to her. And um, she will know that most likely you will be dropping something off because she's going to go through all of the sheets and she will know that someone's going to be given certain medications at certain times. If your child has a um, EpiPen and they carry one with them, they should be carrying that EpiPen with them um, on the bus and wherever they go. If they have one here at school and you want us to take that with us, we will do that. Or if you're going to give them a separate one, you can, you can do that as well. But they should have one in their possession and we should also have one in our possession. Usually the question comes up, well, what happens if, they're, if we're out somewhere and, and, they, and there's an, a medical emergency? The Remind app is, is one of the ways that we're going to use that to communicate if we're not all together. At the amusement park, we're going to instruct the students to find the first aid station. That's the first thing we do. We tell you, before you go into the park, find the first aid station. If you cannot get to a first aid station, Let's say you're walking through the park and you trip and fall and you hurt your knee or you hurt your ankle and you cannot get there. The instructions will be to find a park employee and they will help you get there and they will contact us. We will check in with the um, medical uh, staff at the park and we will check in periodically throughout the day. But when we arrive, we will drop off all of our medical information to them so that if there's an emergency and we are not there before um, your child arrives, they will have that ready to go, and they will contact us. So it's very important that all medications are clearly labeled and um, uh, they are ready, ready for distribution without there being um, any guessing. Room checks, we will check the rooms each evening, and especially on Friday evening when the next day is a performance day, we wanna make sure the kids have their uniforms ready to go. So we will have our chaperones, myself and I, Ms. Mr. Olson, myself and I, Mr. Olson and I, <laughs> and our other chaperones will um, check the rooms, make sure everything is in order. When we arrive at the hotel, we will check the rooms to make sure that the rooms are clean and they are, there's nothing uh, damaged before we, uh, before we start our stay there. And we will do the same uh, before we leave to make sure that the students have treated the, the hotel and the hotel rooms uh, with respect. We will set a curfew each evening when we arrive back at the hotel. There will be Maybe some downtime, a little visiting time, and some open areas of the hotel if, if the, that opportunity arises. And we will let the kids hang out a little bit before they go to bed. And then when they, once they go to their rooms, it's time to stay in our rooms uh, for the evening. We will have a wake-up call for them in the morning. Um, I'm sure they will set their own alarms, but we will have a wake-up call. And then we will also uh, make sure that we go and check and see every, every child before uh, we head down to breakfast together at, at whatever designated time that is. Um, no charging anything to the rooms. All students are required to leave the hotel as a group unless um, we've had in the past a student become ill or so forth and then we arrange to have our nurse stay back with them and so forth, but otherwise everyone travels together. Our uniforms should be clean and ready to go. It, it, and uh, we wanna make sure that we have our best presentation. So whatever your performance uniform is, and there's a variety of different uh, combinations, that it is in the garment bag that it was provided, the green garment bag. Um, the concert uniforms will um, should be on a hanger that is going to hold the clothes, not a wire hanger, but a sturdier hanger, something that is gonna hold pants and the top and whatever combination of concert uniform you have. Their shoes, the black shoes that they'll wear for our concert performance should go into their suitcase not into the garment bag because we're going to lay those underneath the bus or either underneath the bus or on the, on the top uh, rack inside the bus. So we need them to be more flat. So their black shoes should go inside of the um, garment bag or inside of the uh, suitcase. The other uniform that we're going to wear, and I'll call it uniform, is the black marching band t-shirt that, that they received. And we're going to use that at the ballpark village. Um, we're going to try to actually get a second t-shirt out to everybody because we would like them also to wear them at the amusement park when we're there, so we all have uh, the, the same team look. And then um, we want them to also wear them the next day. So I'm looking into making sure we can try to fit everybody for a second shirt for the Ballpark Village performance, which is more casual. They'll, the kids will be able to wear that, that t-shirt, shorts or jeans or whatever. That's a more casual performance. Um, there's no co-ed visiting. Next. 
<laughs> Do not go anywhere alone. If we find you alone, you get to hang with me and Mr. Olson. Mr. Olson likes the roller coasters. I like the park bench. So you can pick and choose, but you need to make sure you're with a buddy. The buddy system is in effect. At least two is in, 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 in your group to make sure that everybody has somebody to travel with. If you don't, we will make sure that you have someone to travel with so that you have a great time. Personal electronic items. Oh, wait, did I skip one? Um, oh, 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 here's, oh, here's the cash question. How much money should I send? Well, you need two meals and then whatever else you think your child's going to want to have for spending money. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on the expensive side since food is, we've all been out to eat recently. McDonald's meal for one person is at least 12 bucks. So at a museum park, you can, you can add another five to that. So I would say $30 for two meals. If, unless your child like is a super eater, that, I'll, I'll say that is a max. Then, whatever else you send, don't expect it back. But they're going to want to buy a souvenir here, and they're going to want to buy the big giant sucker, and the popcorn, and the hot candy. And you, know, you know how it goes. So I'll let you decide how you're going to handle that. And we'll talk about uh, cash versus cash cards, which are totally acceptable, but I'll, I'll just talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. Personal electronic items, if you bring it, you need to make sure you keep track of it because there's going to be far too many for me and Mr. Olson to keep track of. And I would recommend that everything you bring has some sort of identification on it, a little label, a little initial, something that identifies it as yours. So we can get it back to you, or if it gets lost, you can identify it easily. We want to make sure everyone is treated with respect, regardless of whether you're traveling with us, teachers, chaperones, the people that you come in contact with at restaurants and amusement parks and at the festival. And uh, it seems like I'm a broken record on that, but boy, that is so important to me. That, that's what allows us to do this. And lastly, um, any serious violation of the discipline I think are referred to, you, you get the idea. Homework. We're only gone for a day, so the teachers already know that. I've already told them that uh, we're going to be gone on May 5th. If um, I will remind them, so if there's something that they really need you to have done before then, then they should give that to you. That's their responsibility. If they say, you can do this when you return, that's fine. It's really up to the teachers to manage that in their own classrooms. So um, we're not going to bring Chromebooks. We're not going to bring any textbooks. Um, there's just not time to be doing that, nor is there space to be bringing all of that with you. Okay? Let's go on to our packing information. Yes? No, uh, the question was, do we have to call our child in for attendance that day? I will provide the office with a list of students who are traveling with us, and so they will already know that they will be excused because of this. Thank you. Um, I talked a little bit about the uniforms on the hangar. The Symphonic Wings uniform is whatever they're wearing tomorrow. Is, is that, that's what their uniform is for the, the festival for performance. So that's what's going to go in the green garment bag. Um, the, jab, the, the performance at uh, Ballpark Village is casual, and that will be the black um, t-shirt, and then shorts or jeans or whatever. That's going to be real casual. Um, and then they can wear that home, or they can change, or whatever they want to do. Uh, from that point. Um, we're going to ask the students to wear that black t-shirt at Six Flags. The question usually comes up, what are, the, what are the guidelines and rules for Six Flags? If you go to their website, you'll be able to find that out. They do allow small bags and backpacks into the park. They will be checked. Um, you just need to make sure that you follow. There's a million rules. So if you have any questions about that, just go to their website. Uh, and, and you'll find what probably what you're looking for in regards to the to the rules for being at Six Flags. Um, instrument, obviously, they'll need everything and anything that they're going to need to perform in their instrument case um, or with them in their carry-on bag. We will make sure that that's taken care of the day before we leave. General packing items. We are only gone for a couple of days here. Okay. Oops. Sorry, to my agent. Uh, um, we're only gone for a couple of days, and 
Most likely, at this time of the year, the weather in St. Louis is usually pretty warm and sticky. Now, I haven't checked the weather. It's a little too early to do that, but um, I would plan for that, okay? Don't bring 17 outfits. Once we leave the hotel, you're done. <laughs> you're dressed and ready to go for the day. So, uh, a small suitcase should suffice, and a carry-on bag for the, for the bus, which has your personal belongings, your, your snacks, your whatever you need for the ride on the bus is gonna come on the bus with you. If you play a small instrument, like a clarinet or a flute, uh, that's gonna go onto the bus with you and everything else goes underneath the bus for safety. Um, I'm gonna go to the back side here. Just some general items. I know I don't have to go through that list with you. We're traveling, most of you have traveled at least for an overnight. So this is two overnights. So we need clothes for each day. We need to be prepared in case you get cold on the bus or in the evening. So make sure you have some sort of hoodie or jacket. Um, hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen would be great. We're gonna have some of that with us. However, um, we may not be in the same place you are when you need it most. Um, please pack extra deodorant. Thank you. Well, thank you again. Um, no shaving. Period. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I talked a little bit about the Six Flags Park policies. You can check that, check into that yourself. I will also post all of these documents online. Well, I just wanted to make sure I didn't need to uh, amend any of them after this evening. We talked a little bit about spending money and what you'll need and what your child may need. Uh, prepaid debit cards. If you choose to send one with your child, I am totally in favor of that. The less cash they have to carry is, is fine. They should have some cash with them. However, if you do that, please make sure that your child knows how to use it and they know the PIN number and you know the PIN number so that you can try it out before you send it with them. So you need to make sure it works and so forth. Okay, um, I think it's a great way to manage some cash, um, but make sure that they have some cash with them in case that doesn't work. Um, and then this way, uh, they can utilize that and not have to worry about how much money they have on their person. Or when they go on the roller coaster and forget to secure their little wallet or purse, and it goes flying into the bushes, that that's not the only thing they have. So, um, uh, just use your best judgment in regard to how you want to handle the money that you send with your child. But usually at the hotel, they might want to get something to drink or what have you, some vending machines, so make sure they have some cash and some smaller bills. Luggage, we talked about one small carry-on, the garment bag, and, uh, and one small suitcase. And you don't have to pack snacks for a week because you'll be out and you can buy some more snacks along the way. So, you know, use your best judgment now. Water is the only beverage allowed on the bus so that nothing spills and drips down the whole bus while we're driving and we all end up with sticky feet. Water is the only beverage allowed on the bus. Thank you. Um, and then our instruments. Final checklist, this is really for the day before. So you can just make sure, hey, I've gone through, I've got my instrument, I've got what I need to perform, uh, things like that. Once again, this won't be the last time you hear from me uh, regarding our trip, but this is all uh, information that you should be aware of and, and ready to um, take a look at um, before our departure on May the 5th. Oh, uh, this evening, yes. Don't, no, no cost on it. It's already taken care of. Uh, I just need to make sure we have enough sizes for everybody, and hopefully we do. So we, 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 we had, uh, uh, we ordered some earlier this year. We didn't need to use all of them, and so those, that's already taken care of. Yep. Um, you received a little photo card this evening when you came in along with the, the group list. That is, uh, you, you can sign up for that as parents, as students, we would encourage you to. You'll be able to upload photos to, that, to the link once you get onto the Bob Rogers link, and they're going to create like a memory, a memory movie with photos. 
And so uh, I don't know exactly how many they'll, they'll take and so forth, but an opportunity to share some of the photos with, of your friends and some of the things you did. And I, I think it's a great addition to our trip um, that uh, they provide for us. Um, Mr. Olson talked a little bit about the Remind app, and we will also send information out to you directly just to make sure everyone's got that and is able to link to that. I will send out the final um, departure info along with Mrs. Wiseman's uh, information so you can contact her directly about, uh, regarding medical information and other um, concerns regarding that. And I already talked about dietary concerns and our lunch orders. I think that is all I have. Um, I will open up to any questions at this point if you have any questions. Um, Keegan. You're, yes, you're in, yes. You're, if you play an instrument here at school and, and you're gonna play it on this trip, it's coming with us, yep. Okay. Um, there was another, yeah, yes. So if they're wearing their uniform for that music in the park, I assume they're bringing a whole chain. Yes, so on their carry-on, what, what, we'll, what we'll do is encourage them to bring a change of clothes in either in their garment bag so that they can put their uniform back into their garment bag. After we perform, we'll do a quick change, get back on the bus. I'm assuming based on the time frame of the uh, performance that we're very close to the amusement park. So they'll have an opportunity to change, so they'll need to bring their gym shoes and things like that with them onto the bus, and they can change before we go to the park, of course. Yes. Avi? Can we keep the folders? The folders are yours. That's all your information, so your, your parents have all the information and contact info uh, for this trip. Other questions? Yes. Um, that's really up to you. They're, obviously, we're traveling as a group and they'll be inside of the park or we'll be at the arch together and we're really like um, no, nowhere where they wouldn't be with part of our group. Um, I would certainly encourage them if they have an ID card of some sort, even their school ID, that they keep that with them and that can act as their identification, um, their identification card. Um, but we don't have anything specific for them for this trip. Um, you may want to purchase some additional luggage tags for their, for their suitcase and or their backpack or something. Like I said, the, their larger belongings especially should, be, um, uh, should have identification on them and then anything that's of value, their phone, their their um, other electronic devices, like I said, if they bring it, they need to make sure they take care of it because we're not going to keep track of it for them. Other questions from parents? Because Mr. Olson and I have a whole sheet of frequently asked questions by the students, which we will go through with them uh, at a later date. Other parent questions? Yes? Say that again? <laughs> If I'm your tour guide, then yes. Um, the white envelope is for your medical forms and all of the, all of the consent forms on the left-hand side. So, so your, the white envelope with your child's name on it is so that I know who has turned one in and so I can make sure we've got them all in. So I provided that for you so you didn't have to, well, so I don't have to receive it back in a little baggie or some sort of other form of uh, return. So that this way, when I hand it to Mrs. Wiseman, she knows exactly whose it is. So, if I will be here as long as I need to, Mr. Olson's here as well, and answer any other questions or concerns. Uh, but that's all I have. So, if you do have anything beyond tonight, please reach out to one of us, and we will be more than happy to to talk with you and um, and and uh, answer any questions. And certainly, we will be in touch. Uh, about a week before we leave in, in, what is that, less than three weeks? About three weeks from now. So thank you all for being here this evening, and uh, we'll see you all soon.